The state of Texas is required to notify us when a high-risk sex offender moves into our community. Several residents in Littlefield say they were startled when they opened their mailbox and saw that card in their mailboxes. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski got a hold to one of those flowers. Brenda, almost everyone in town got one, right? Well, yes, and it's not every day that you get a notice of a high-risk sex offender in your community. I spoke to the police chief, and he says, although it is alarming, it's not exactly what people might think. To the mailbox and checking my mail as usual, and I have these cards from the state stuffed in there. Dennis Kelly recalling this week when he received several cards in the mail telling him there was high-risk sex offenders in the community. His home just across the highway from the Texas Civil Commitment Center. My first response was, dear Lord, no, they didn't just release all these inmates here because the cards were real vague. Kelly says he received over 30 cards with different offenders. My fiance got home and I says, well, you're not going anywhere after dark anymore by yourself. Chief Ross Hester with the Littlefield Police Department says he's received several calls from concerned residents, but that they should not be alarmed. These people are not being released out onto the streets of Littlefield. They posted to Facebook to inform their residents. Yes, those people are being released from prison, but they're being committed by signature of a judge to the Civil Commitment Center here in Littlefield. Uh, TDCJ is obligated by law to report the release of those individuals, even though those individuals are being committed to the Civil Commitment Center. After their release from prison, these individuals have to complete several tiers of treatment and assessment before they are released. As for Dennis, he understands there's no threat. I don't think anybody should be alarmed because if you go on the, uh, the uh, Littlefield Police Department website, they explain these cards real well. But I think the state should do a better job at explaining when they send these cards out. If you'd like to find registered sex offenders by your zip code,